Venus is a hostile world. The average surface temperature is 870 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 465 degrees Celsius, and the 95% carbon dioxide atmosphere is 92 times heavier than what we experience on Earth. Amazingly, the Soviet Union not only successfully landed landers on Venus in the 1970s, they managed to return images of the surface. The Soviets' decision to photograph the surface of Venus was motivated in part by the failure of their Mars program and by NASA's decision to send the twin Viking landers to the Red Planet in 1975. Rather than compete with the American program, the Soviets turned their sights on a different planet, and the Venera program saw this happen. The program kicked off in 1961 on February 12th, when Venera 1 launched but failed to reach its target. Venera 2 launched four and a half years later and made the first successful Soviet flyby of Venus. The next few Venera missions, Veneras 3 through 8, carried with them specialized atmospheric probes the spacecraft was meant to jettison. These probes were meant to fall through the atmosphere gathering data, and some even made it to the surface. But the first Venera mission to be armed with a camera was Venera 9, and this mission demanded an entirely new lander. Using data from the previous Venera missions, the Soviets knew exactly what their lander and its camera would have to stand up to. The final Venera 9 spacecraft was a cylinder that housed the instrumentation. This sat on top of an engine, and surrounding the engine was a flared-out structure that acted as an air brake. The Soviets found that Venus's atmosphere was so thick they didn't need a parachute in the final phase of landing, just shock absorbers to soften the blow. The cameras were placed on the lander below the air brake, a decision that meant a limited view of Venus, but it was better than photographing the lander with a bit of Venus in the background. This is just how Venera 9 landed on October 22, 1975, and although only one of the lens caps came off the two cameras on board, it sent back a beautiful 180-degree picture of the surface of Venus, as did Venera 10 three days later. Venera's 11 and 12 failed to return images, but Venera's 13 and 14 returned the first color images of the surface of Venus in 1982. The Venera program ended with Venera's 15 and 16, two orbital missions. The Venera program and the lander that returned the first images of the surface of Venus, they happened in space. <laughs>